guys, welcome back to Shackham Gaming and this time another stealth strategy game, Shadow Tactics. I'm going for something a bit more modern this time. We're gonna go through all the missions on hardcore difficulty, of course. All right, so the first mission in Osaka Castle. Japan, early Edo period. Oh, this guy. He was dead and he didn't even know it. Nothing <laughs> personal. Just can't have you warned the others up there. Alright, so that sets the stage for the first mission, I guess. Looks like a whole nest of guards. Would have thought this might actually get challenging. This is mostly a tutorial level, by the way. Not much happening here. I'll keep my head down, just in case. Barricades everywhere. Bet they're preparing for the Shogun's next attack. First order is to reach that gate. Should be a good warm-up for the real mission. Climb won't be a problem. Better hurry, though. The Shogun will start his attack soon. All right, so despite what he says, you do not really need to hurry, so take your time. In any case, this is an introductory level. You are going to be introduced to the first two team members, if I remember correctly here. This is the, um, well, the most used character, Hayato. He's kind of sort of a jack-of-all-trades, assassin kind of type. By the way, you can zoom in, zoom out. For anybody who wants to play the game, I'm going to give you some quick info. H is a very useful key to remember. It highlights everything interactable. I'm always going to leave it on. You can jump across automatically. No noise. You can run without making any noise, so don't worry about it too much. These guys can sometimes <laughs> see you. This guy, in this case, is blind. Usually when they are high up, they see you easier, Ooh, except if they're extremely high up, then they do oh, not see you at all. It doesn't matter. No These little flasks are tutorial things. Let's go through and read them, actually, for anybody who is interested in playing this. Press B to open the mission log, which shows you the objectives and gives you various hints as well. Pretty easy. You have your missions, infiltrate the Saka castle. And then you get hints, if all the alarm is raised, yeah, enemies will look for you, obvious hints there. You can also rotate the view of the camera to better see what's going on. I'm going. Have to be quick on that rock, by the way. <laughs> for obvious reasons. Alright, so now... Yes, actually the game teaching us how to rotate the view. Birds do make noise if there's enemies nearby. I'm going in. They will detect you. You can see the circle of the noise. Move like water. All right, you get quick save at any point. Obviously, yes. Quick load, yada yada. And there is a very handy timer up here, which reminds you. This is a, this is for people like me, actually. <laughs> I always forget to save. You can use your hook. You have a hook in this game. In various uh, interactable objects. I'm going in. Uh, resetting the camera with W, yes, some very basic things. If you gain the high ground on an enemy, you can jump right onto him, insta killing him. You stay down. Everyone, gather! Alright, you can use control and click on somebody to pick him up. Control and click in a hiding spot to hide him. Obviously, I'm gonna be crouched most of the time. You see the enemies have kind of two vision cones. Well, you can see it here. Let me show you the civilian. The solid one, they can see you no matter what. The kind of dotted line part of the vision cone indicates that you can go crouched in there undetected. Quiet. Civilians you can kill without any repercussions in this game, so you probably should do it. However gruesome that sounds. Nice. Uh, let's see now actually i think the game wants me to go 
in here to get this hint. I think I can even run. Nobody can oh, see me. Just they starve to death. Bad way to go. It's probably gonna be a tutorial about killing. Yes, we can use the. You can see down here we don't have uh, many skills. I'm just gonna go quickly through this. This is not really important. You can do two kinds of attacks. You can do a lethal and a non-lethal one. I don't know why you want would want the non-lethal one in this stage anyway. You can use A or you can right click on this thing to switch it to a fist, which apparently doesn't kill them. But if you don't kill them, actually, let me quickly show you. If you just incapacitate him. Sweet dreams. He might wake up, so Time I don't know. Salt work. I find it always more useful, unless you're after an objective, right? If you're after an objective that says don't kill anybody, then you can uh, probably make use of the fist ready. more. In this case, I'm just going to go for completing things on hardcore difficulty, so I'm not going to be too concerned with keeping people alive. What a horrible thing to say. <laughs> Any case, now let's uh, keep going. You can come down here, I guess, rotate the screen. You I'm can going. jump. Be careful what you say. <laughs> no noise. You don't have to kill everybody, obviously. Let's get another tutorial. All enemies have field of view. Yes, that's what I was talking about earlier. You can also set a view cone. That's actually a cool tip I'm going to show you. Once they start spotting you, the uh, yellow line is going to start moving towards you here. So the closer you are to an enemy, the faster he spots you is essentially what the game is trying to say. If you want to see if anybody overlooks a spot, you can just hold the right click in for a while and it will show you anybody. Well, this is not a good spot, actually. Can I demonstrate this maybe with two guys? You can see two guys. No, this guy can see it. Jesus, he's blind. Okay, let's put it here. You can see two lines for every guy watching a spot. All right, now let's go ahead and I guess kill this guy. I don't think anybody I else is around. This one. You can run up to them. Take him out. Quietly. Better safe than sorry. Most characters actually don't do any noise at all, so you don't need to worry about it. If they do noise, while they run, it will be there will be a circle displayed around them, so it will be very clear if you're about to get uh, caught by running. Next tip: yes, the uh, bright and dark areas, I guess, of the vision cone. You should be crouched most of the game. Actually, this is a good tip. Things like bushes and rocks, yes, they do create. Uh, an obstruction for the enemy's vision. So if you're behind a, uh, anything, actually, the, their vision their, turns into dotted. And if you are on high ground, if you are crouched, they can never see you, right? But you have to be crouched. You cannot stand up. High ground is uh, offers a protection of sorts in this case. Hmm. Gates blocked. Walls too high. Guess I'll have to take a detour. Uh, let's see the next tutorial tip as well. Throwing stones. I haven't found this to be extremely useful, but it can have its uses, especially if you're going after objectives. It will make enemies turn their heads, but they will not go to it. Unlike other games, if you've played uh, games in the similar vein, you might be used to enemies actually going to investigate. The distractions in this game, they do not. There is a character later on who actually uh, has a pipe that draws enemies close to it. They're too close together to take them out. Better use a distraction. I could actually just go around them if I wanted to, like, <laughs> but in the spirit of actually showing you guys how this Move works. Like water. Hold on, does this guy see me here? No. Okay. Let's actually do what the thing wants and uh, use the rock. Strange. Uh, sound. You can run. They won't hear you. Oh shoot! <laughs> Cannon shot caught me by surprise there. Move like water. All right. Next step. Damn. The offense has started. I have to get inside somehow. Forward, men! Follow the Shogun! All kinds of mayhem here. Damn you! You, you have nowhere to run! Show yourself! Hey, samurai. Always get themselves killed. Hate to admit it, but he's my best chance. Better help him. And he's gonna be a playable character as well after we do help him fast let's go for a tutorial tip first 
Ariato Shuriken can kill one enemy from medium range. Yes, we get the Shuriken skill unlocked now. Which is a kind of very useful, actually, ranged attack. You can see the uh, range it has and the sound that it does. No one will hear. The blue circle indicates how far you can throw it. So right now I cannot. I have to be inside the blue circle to kill this guy. By the way, if you do this, if you click this right now, the uh, my guy will maneuver himself into position. So you don't have to actually start with the line of sight in order to kill somebody. And the yellow line obviously indicates the sound. So we seem to be fine. Let's see his vision. And let me demonstrate what I was uh, telling about. I'm gonna double click, run, and quickly kill him. To be fine. Hey. Although he chose the wrong direction, I was hoping he would go left, but... Sure, again, you have to pick it up. Don't forget that. You do that just by walking over it. Easy. Easy peasy. I could hide the body, but why bother? Hold on, can I hide it in here? Let me quickly check, just for fun. All right, didn't know that. Nice, actually. See, that's the use of having everything highlighted. All right, now this guy is high up. Obviously, you do not want to run up to him and uh, kill him. You can do this from the ground moving just as Should easily. Down. Now, if you double click on top of here, he will not go. You have to actually double click on the ladder to do that. Good. Kind of annoying. Other games have addressed that, but I guess a minor oversight by the devs. All right, now we're going to cause a distraction for our newest team member here to help him out. Control and click on whatever the distraction is. And bye bye. I noticed your involvement just now. Tell me your name so I can thank you properly. Mind if you let me inside first? I like being thanked in person. Very well. I will repay my debt at once by opening the gate for you. All right, and we get our second playable character, Mugen, the samurai. Very strong, very noisy as well. That's You kind of get the gist after you play a few games. Like one is the stealthy, kind of uh, but weak oh, character. One is the strong but noisy. All right, in this case, just click on the I door. I will you join can open it. Soon if I do not proceed carefully. All right, we're going to have to open this gate for our friends. So now this mission becomes uh, exclusively Mugen, I guess. Let's read his tip. Oh, he has a sake bottle, yes. Man, I should be using that often, but I'm not. I don't know why. It's very useful, actually. You can obviously place a bottle somewhere. It has to be inside the solid green part of the vision. It cannot be on the dotted line, like not here. He will not react to it. He has to be able to see it very clearly. If he does that, he will fill his vision purple and go towards it. And the best thing about it, which the game does not tell you, is he will walk in a straight line without walking, without uh, watching left or right. So he will just be focused on the sake, which makes it extremely easy to take them out gonna see probably what I mean in a sec. I should lure them towards me. You only have one. Okay, will be adequate bait. By the way, so don't forget to retrieve it after you're done. Now let's see. Where should I lure this guy? What do these guys see? They actually cannot see anywhere, but just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna throw it over here. So just to demonstrate, I'm gonna throw it as far away as I can. Strategy. Hello. Ah. And look at his vision now. See, he doesn't move his vision at all, so I can close in very close to him and kill him. His vision doesn't swing. You don't have to do any tricks to get around him or anything. Sake, very powerful. I wonder if it's nice to drink. I've never drunk, actually. Anyway. Eternal questions aside, let's go to the next tip. Sword wind, yes, that's the thing you saw he did here cinematically. You can, uh, well, you can essentially kill as many people as you want within a red circle here. That's the gist of it. Kind of the tough part is approaching the enemies with this. Three opponents close together. I shall use Kazakiri to defeat them all at once. Because usually opponents look at every direction if there's like a circle of them. But in this case, well, you can also find cracks in the revision, which is kind of, yeah, fiddly, but... In this case, if you find somewhere to hide, then that's obviously the easiest thing to do. Keep in mind, 
You do not need to run in the middle of them to actually execute this attack. As soon as he enters this uh, kind of circle here, he's gonna dash right in the middle of them on his own. But you are vulnerable up to the point where the circle starts, right? So keep that in mind. All right, now to our objective. We actually need to use this to open the door for our friend. Boom, baby. My thanks again for your assistance. I am Oshiro Mugen, and you are Hayato from the Iga region. Iga, I see. There were rumors that our shogun had hired a shinobi. Tell me, what is your mission? I have to open the Agora Mon. The main gate? Preposterous. It is heavily fortified. Not from the inside. One barrel of gunpowder will do the trick. Just have to get it in position. A daunting task. Very well. I shall accompany you. That's kind of you. But I work alone. I will not hear of it. Together we will succeed where we both fail alone. I didn't. But as you wish. We have to be quiet, or we won't get far. All right, Heato of Iga. We shall do this your way. All right, mission blow up the gate, I guess. Let's read the next tip. If you want to make sure a spot is unwatched, place this view corner marker. I already show you this, guys. It's kind of a yeah, slow technique. I mostly just use trial and error. But I could sneak in the Close. base here. Remember to be crouched. There is a hide advantage here, is there? I don't know. Can I actually I just go and kill this guy right away? Bodies out in the open. Hide them in bushes, barrels, empty houses. Who would have thought that one day I'd take lessons from a shinobi? Man, Japan culture is so interesting. You have the samurais and the ninja sort of, or shinobis, whatever they call them. Which are very different. One is very honorable, kills only face to face. The other is the opposite. Uh, so let's see, I don't think I need to take up this guy, actually. Although it would help for reaching that one. Hold on, can he see? Yes, it's bright green vision, let's be careful. It'll be close. I think I could actually just Using straight up kill him this way. Got it. Yeah, let's hide him in a house. All the houses are empty, by the way, so... You don't need, unlike other games, you don't need to make sure they're empty. Or at least up to now in this mission. I don't know, maybe there's other missions in the future that have houses that are occupied, actually. All right, now let's go kill this annoying guard over there. Same building. Oh, I could go this way, actually. I could go through the door and open... Uh... On the oh, shoot. Yep, forgot about that. Let's keep crouched. Right, let's save before killing him. Smack him. Got you. And now you can see you enter a building, you have multiple exits, so keep that in mind. I could have gone through this door, exit is right behind him, maybe it killed him. That's another way of doing things. Now these guys are in a group, so I'm gonna have to use Mugen to kill them at some point. Let's first get this guy that guards the gate. By the way, a awesome feature of this game. Always quick save, because if you press escape, you have your latest three quick saves available. So you do not need to worry that your latest, if your latest quick save is a bust, you can always go two back, right? Cannon so fire. Send someone to clear the debris. Now let's wait for these guys to go away. Shinjutsu. Outside the. Oh, hold on! This guy can see. Can he? Using should. Nah, gotcha. he's blind. Time to We're move. Good. <laughs> Yeah, excellent, now the gate is free. Let's bring in Mugen. I'm gonna use Mugen to kill this patrol, uh, these guys there. I could hide him in here even. Let me quickly try that. Oh, hold on. Stand down though. Jeez. I'm getting a bit impatient. It's kind of my trademark in game. We shall not like, if you like stealthy tactics instead of confrontational ones, this can be a pretty easy game, in the beginning at least. 
Now he can carry two bodies, by the way, very useful. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I stood there for a bit too long, sorry. Ah, explaining things was the death of me, I guess. Let's quickly go ahead and kill these guys again. So he can pick up two bodies. Not only that, he can actually run while, while uh, having the bodies under his arms, I guess. Very useful. So if you wanna, if you have the choice between team members to do the killing, always choose Mugen, I guess. He also ran silently, by the way. You can see, even though he's a big guy, you'd expect him to be noisy. He's not. 